<laughs> workshop. So our competition today is to stuff as many donut holes in our mouth as possible. Surprise, surprise. Guess who dominates the competition again? I've won both competitions so far. I had no idea I'd be so good at eating so much. I don't, I don't want to eat anything that I've seen him eat anymore. I'm totally hungry for that $100,000 prize. Hey, do you guys think you can cut that last joke out? Ah, uh, I was killing me. Uh, I went to this comedy club last night. My client was performing some stand-up routine. Eight drinks in, still not funny. Tell me something that will make my headache go away. Um, well, I got the footage from the student film you wanted. Oh, good. Let's uh, see it. I don't think it's gonna make your headache go away. Will you just give it to me, please? Give it to me. Uh, You're annoying me. Okay. Give it to me. I'm sure I'll find something. Great. You need a demo reel. So you, you wanna break up with me? <laughs> yeah, we've been together for four years. And you don't let the paparazzi come between us? Everything has changed. Nothing's the same anymore. I liked it when you weren't famous. <laughs> Look, in a few months, I'm just gonna be some, some no-name actor, okay? Just whatever. I mean, this is just a phase. I'm... Oh, God, look, it's just a phase, okay? What? That's all it's nothing. There he is. It's just a phase, all right? Just... Oh, the tabloid said this was your favorite coffee shop. What's up? Oh, man, what's up? Hey, check it out. <laughs> Guess who's seen Urban Tiger five times already? Who? This guy! <laughs> Whoa! Come on. Yeah. What's up, man? Thanks. Thank you for all your support, man. Oh, thank I really, you. really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Hey, dude, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for thank a great you. performance. Thank you. Hey, man, do you remember that picture that we took together last year, just the two of us? Mm -hmm. Man, I had it blown up, like movie poster size. I framed it and I hung it above my bed. It's got little titles at the bottom starring Lance and Adam. <laughs> I'm gonna go. No, Rebecca, just, just stay. Come on. Really? Oh, look, look, I didn't mean to interrupt. All right, I was just hoping for an autograph real quick. Is that cool? Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, real quick, but uh, me and my lady gotta get back to some uh, privacy. Yeah, yeah, just, cool. Just this thing here. Uh, right there. Yeah, this, this isn't gonna work, man. I mean, this is, uh, this is a black Sharpie and it's a black shirt. Oh, even better! He's in my stomach, it'll be permanent! Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I don't know Here. how I really feel about I'll okay, you give you a good angle. Just do it right there across. Mm -hmm. Just right there. Hit it. I'll, like, I'll push your hair to the side and kiss the Sharpie gets caught in it. Yeah, I, I just don't want to hurt you, man. I feel like that's gonna it hurt you. hurt me, man. Yeah. I'm just psyched for this autograph. Nah, it's nah. Gonna, it's permanent, that's I why. I can't I take this. Just, no, hey. Rebecca! Rebecca! Baby, come on! Really? She smells like kiwi. Ki kiwi is it? Yeah, no, she does. It's strawberry kiwi. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that was the funniest movie ever. Thank you. <laughs> it was a dramatic movie. Well, maybe in theory. That should win an award for the worst movie in the history of the world. Okay? <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I, I want you to do this. I might do. Okay, read Annie. Go out, take a few minutes, and come back in. Let's see what you got. It's a comedy. Yeah, you're great. 
I get you great auditions. You book solid projects. You're on a sweet gig right now, aren't you? Yeah, I love acting on Slingin' It. It's great. Then why, Matthew, if I'm so good to you, do you treat me so badly? What are you talking about? This weed is crap. It's worse than crap. It's like smoking dirt. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, okay? I got you the same stuff as I- Liar! Do not lie to me, Matthew. This is garbage. I ask one favor of you. Get me the chronic. Save me from a heart attack or a nervous breakdown. Be the son that I never had. Y you have a son, Barry. Don't change the subject. We're talking about a life or death matter. Oh God. I will pay whatever is necessary. You do whatever you can, but get me the chronic. All right, all right, you done? Maybe, maybe we should just stop this whole thing. This is too much. It's never too much. You, you are a comic genius. Your timing is impeccable. Really, you think so? Yeah, I know so. You've got to get those sad vouchers. I can't get you into TV unless you do. You are made to be on half-hour comedy television. Do whatever it takes to get those SAG vouchers. Okay. I don't care what you have to do. Just do it. Well, now we both don't have an agent. This is like the first time I haven't had one in the three years I've been living here. I know, not having representation feels like you're naked or something. We better kick ass in our scene. This industry showcase can be coming at a better time. Do you know Halle Berry's agent came last year? No way. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. A lot of big players come to the showcase. This could change our career. Really? Uh-huh. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> All right, all right. Well, the plan right now is we're going to do the show for six nights. And, well, if you can put more fannies in the seats, we'll keep this party rolling for a couple more weekends. What do you say? Ah, uh, yes, Harold. Is it true that Brad Pitt's agent came to last year's showcase? They all come, honey. All the best agents, the managers, producers, directors, they all come to see Terry Tompkins' prodigies. <laughs> now, we are going to start rehearsals. We're gonna do it for three weeks every night, starting tonight. <clears throat> but before we begin, did everyone bring their $1,800 to be part of the showcase fund? <laughs> hey, well, come on now. <laughs> Fantastic, beautiful. You guys are gonna be fantastic. I guarantee agents and managers for all my friends. Here we go, more, more, more. Come on, come on, English. Come on. Boy, you really don't wanna let go of that baby. <laughs> this is great job, everybody. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, sir. Next. I saw your name was on the list today. So, how's that minimum wage treating you? Actually, I'm getting kind of tired of it. Oh, really? Does that mean you're ready to give me the combination to that chastity belt? I don't know. Listen, Kate, do you really want to be doing extra work a year, two years from now? Just let me hit that one time, and I'll hand you the vouchers both walk away with a smile on her face. All right, fine, I'll do it. That's what I'm talking about. Come meet me during the lunch break. We'll make this happen. And I'd stretch out if I was you. I'm packing some serious heat. <sighs> Next. Hi. Hi. Zag or non-union? Non-union. Name? 
For our next competition, our trainers came up with the idea of a good old fashioned Midwestern eating contest. Well, my baby Susan and I were talking about it and we want to see the contestants eat an entire cow. Whole thing. Hooves, horns. <laughs> yeah. We went out and slaughtered a 1,400 pound cow. And we're cooking it up slab by slab. And the contestant who ingests the most meat will have immunity at the next weigh in. I'm vegetarian. I've never eaten red meat in my life. Welcome everybody. Anti-Pave LA is so excited. We have raised Listen to this, $28 million this year alone. Can you believe it? And, and $250 million worldwide. Things are happening for us. And the best part, we are organizing a day, a synchronized day of pavement covering, and you all are invited. I hope you'll all be there. Will you all be there? Yes! Now, now, I have to say, we have the specialist guest with us today. We have Adam Saltair, fresh from Urban Tiger, here today, championing our cause. Not only an actor and singer-songwriter, but a humanitarian, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Adam Saltair. Yeah. Thank, right. right. hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, Winifred. Uh, wow. Um, it's always been a dream of mine, you know, ever since I was a little kid, to uh, cover the world's roads in dirt. Yeah. So, thank you. Yes. For Urban Tiger. <laughs> Here's to keeping roads the old school way. Let's get those roads covered in dirt. Yeah. It's a man's game, boy. Come on, Jeff, you Nancy. Eat that meat. 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 Yeah. Eat that meat. Yeah. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Five hundo by Friday, or you get a QP up your ass, skank. Yeah. Yeah. And cut! Check in the gate! Nice. All right, everyone! All right, that's a wrap on scene 12. Let's do lunch. Lunch break, lunch break. One hour, one hour. All right. See you guys. Matthew. Look, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. Director wanted to talk to you about some ideas for your scene this evening. Uh, yeah, right. Sorry, that's great. Yeah, and um, I just saw what you put in your pocket. I think the producer's gonna wanna have a conversation with you. Why don't you come with me? That's terrific. <laughs> Hey, who are you? Me? Yeah, you. What's your name? Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. I'm Bill. First AD. You have a really cool look. You doing background? Uh, yeah, I am. How'd you like to get bumped up? Get a line on the show? Um, oh, oh my god. Uh, yeah, that would be great. Okay. Oh, Bill, I don't think you want to use her. Why not? Well, she's non-union. We'll just have to hardly her. Uh, that means we sign a bunch of forms and pay a fine, and you get to skip the whole three-voucher thing. 
Why are you still here? Run along. Make yourself useful. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. They should have had him go shirtless. Yeah. <laughs> that guy is really hot. We should go talk to him then. Hey. I love your outfit. <laughs> what? Your outfit. You're so hip. I like a man who stays up with fashion. You think I look hip? <laughs> wow. I wear this outfit every day and no one's ever called me hip before. You've never been called hip before. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> You're a trendsetter. Take a look around. Everyone's wearing your style. Well, that's because we're all Amish. Shame on you, Jacob. Shame on you. <laughs> oh, that wow. was hysterical. <laughs> Caitlin, that was amazing. Did I find the diamond in the rough or what? Yeah, do you have an agent? Nope, just a manager. Well, I'm gonna hook you up with my agent. He's great. Are you familiar with William Morris Endeavor? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I just puked for the last four hours. <laughs> Rick and Susan, they tried to perk me up with a vanilla milkshake, but... We got floaters! It definitely didn't work. <laughs> Coming up again! <laughs> the wind's in ten minutes. I think I'm in trouble. Alan Daniels. Step up, babe. Alan Daniels, you have gained four pounds for a net gain of 2.15%. Yeah! Water weight. Water weight. Next up, we've got Jeff Reynolds. Jeff Reynolds. Jeff! Get up on that scale. <laughs> oh, oh, poor baby. It's, it's so free. <laughs> well, I want a QP by Friday? But you're getting a QP up your ass. Right? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I want a QP. If you don't call me back ASAP, I am going to hunt you down and come on all over you and... <laughs> Poet Craziness 3? I auditioned for that. <laughs> this song that I never had. <laughs> 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 I think I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh my god, he said you didn't make <laughs> Speak of the devil, literally. <laughs> I played a psycho. <laughs> god watch workshop.
I mean, boy, what? You can't work in this town. You're too damn ugly. I was the best looking guy in my small town. What is it, a town of one? I hate acting. <laughs>